Are you ready to sculpt your upper body? Well, in this video, we're gonna be toning up everything from the waist up, chest, back, core, arms, and so much more. So let's get to it. Before we get into today's workout, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I go live or post a new workout video. Hello and welcome, my name is Jenny J and today we are doing an upper body burn. We'll be tackling your shoulders, chest, back, core, arms, and so much more. For today's equipment, you need your body, a mat, and maybe a light set of dumbbells. I have three pounds here. Definitely feel free to grab a weight that is appropriate for your fitness level. You can also grab canned goods or water bottles. Today we have six exercises. We're gonna spend 45 seconds each move, followed by about a 15 second rest and transition into the next move. Once we get through all six exercises, we're gonna go back to the very top for a total of three rounds. As always, grab sips of water and towel down whenever you need it. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide, starting off with three big deep breaths. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale. Exhale, good, one more. And exhale, let it go, good. Let's bring those feet about shoulder distance apart, hands out in a T position. Nice big circles. Warming up the shoulders, warming up the upper body, getting the blood flow to where we need it to go before we add resistance, before we add load. We got lots of weight training to do today. So we gotta make sure that our body is nice and warm. Let's make a nice big circle, even wider, even bigger here. Opening up the chest. Awesome. Good, and switch. Let's go into our little middle circles here, kind of medium circles. Good, feeling that tension in the tops of our shoulders, maybe feeling a burn already. And let's go nice and big here. Keeping those knees nice and soft, connect to that core, belly button into the spine. Awesome. From here, let's open and close, opening up the chest and then just kind of giving ourselves a nice tap in the back. It's super important that we warm up our muscles before we use them. This is gonna help you get ready for your workout. It also helps you to get your mind right, get your body right before we go. All right, from here, side to side torso rotations. You wanna make sure that you're pivoting from those hips, knees, and ankles, twisting from the core, protecting the spine by engaging those abs, allowing that body to just move freely right and left. Great. All right, and from here, we're gonna go into some inchworms. So step to the back of your mat, Feet about shoulder distance apart. This is one of my favorite warm-up moves. You're gonna see it a lot. We're gonna drop that chin to the chest, round the spine. You're gonna walk those hands out to your high plank. Shoulders stack right on top of those wrists. Nice straight line from head to heels. And then walk those hands back towards the feet, round the spine on the way up. And we'll keep doing this. Feel free to go at your own pace here. If you need to drop down to those knees, again, please go ahead and do that. You should feel a nice stretch along the hamstrings, spine, getting your shoulders, your core, your chest to all wake up. And from here, we'll do one more. And then let's hold our plank together. Zip up your feet, zip up those inner thighs. And let's hold our plank, connecting to our core, lifting those kneecaps up. Squeezing the booty for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, drop down to those knees. We'll go into an all fours position, so stack the shoulders on top of wrists, hips on top of knees. From here, we're gonna go into a cat. So you're gonna arch the spine, lift the tailbone up to the sky, eyes gaze forward as you broaden the collarbone, and then exhale, chin to chest, pelvis tucks under, back of the heart lifts up to the ceiling. Again, inhale. Finding your cat, and then exhale, finding your cow. Good, again, keep going at your own time here. Start to engage with those lower abs every single time that belly tucks in. You wanna think about squeezing your belly here. Let's do one more, and rest. 
good. Find a neutral position, and when you're ready, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna start with our workout today. We're gonna just get right into it. Again, six exercises, 45 seconds on the clock with a 15 second transition. Once we get through all six, we'll take a small break and then do it again for a total of three rounds. The first exercise that we're gonna do is an Arnold press. This is going to help sculpt our shoulders. So the feet are gonna be about shoulder distance apart, soft knees standing nice and tall. Palms are gonna face in, elbows are in line with the shoulders, palms are looking towards the forehead. From here, you're gonna open up that window, creating a half T, press those dumbbells up overhead, straighten out those elbows, come back to your half T, and then rotate on the way in. Your goal is to not let those elbows drop to the rib cage. You wanna make sure that they're in line with those shoulders. We got 45 seconds on the clock in three, two, one, let's go. So we open, lift, come back, and close it in. Your goal is to try to keep your posture tall the entire time. Sometimes when we get tired, we lose our form and then we start to like kind of muscle it up and use our low back and then we're standing all wonky. So just make sure that your posture's really straight here, keeping a soft bend in the knees, chest is open, dumbbells come straight up to the sky and then try to kiss those elbows and wrists in the middle, framing your face here. Awesome, now depending on your weight, this might be really challenging for you, so you're more than welcome to go one arm at a time. That is an option for you. Let's do one more, and rest. Good, shake it out, awesome. We're gonna be doing another shoulder exercise. Coming up is a front raise to a lateral raise. So feet again in our position, palms are facing in this time, Slight bend in the elbows as we bring the dumbbells up to shoulder height, focusing on the front of the deltoid, and then lateral raise, focusing on the side of the deltoid. Your option here is to go one arm at a time. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Bring it up and side. Now feel free to go as slow as you need to. We wanna make sure that we avoid bringing the dumbbells above the shoulders because that may lead to some shoulder impingement. So if you feel any cracking or anything that does not feel right, that is probably a good sign that you're overdoing it. You can either lighten the weight if that's happening or take that option of going one arm at a time. Body weight is also there for you. So if dumbbells are just too much for you, please go ahead and drop down. Make sure that you stay safe at home. That is utmost priority here. Good, last one, and rest. Awesome, next exercise, we're gonna go into our back muscles and the back of our arms, our triceps. So coming up, feet are gonna be shoulder distance apart. You're gonna hinge from those hips, finding a nice flat back. Palms are extended below the shoulders. You're gonna create the shape of a V. Palms are facing in as you make that V. Come back towards the floor, and then palms are gonna face back for a tricep press. So again, it takes, it uh, makes a V, and then it comes straight back behind us for a tricep press. Focusing on two different muscle groups at the same time. Let's go for it in three, two, one, let's go. We're gonna bring it up. Slowly come down and then press it back. My arms pretty much stay straight the entire time. There's just a small micro bend to prevent any hyperextension. And once you have the move right, make sure those eyes are looking down towards the floor so that you can lengthen the back of the neck. You don't wanna cause any unnecessary stress for your shoulders or your neck. If you're cranking it, trying to look at your computer screen or the TV. Keep your back supported by engaging your core. Soft bend in those knees the entire time. Keep it up, this is your last one. And rest, good. All right, this next exercise, we're gonna go ahead and drop down to the floor and we'll be using our body weight. We're gonna get into our shoulders, our chest, and our core. So you're gonna start in a high plank position. 
The hands are gonna be mat distance apart, nice straight body from head to heels. From here, you're gonna pike those hips up into a downward dog. Your chest is shooting towards your thighs. Come back to your high plank and then do a push up. Now, if you need an option here, you can do your downward dog, drop down to the knees, and then come as low as you can. Don't worry if you can't get a push up just yet. Rome was not built in a day. It's all about layering one brick at a time and making progress. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. We lift up, plank, and push up. Now your goal is to try to get your chest about fist distance away from the mat. You want to make sure that your body is in a nice straight line as well. So if your hips are piking up or if your hips are drooping, drop down to those knees and do your option until you build enough strength to be able to do this on your feet. Keep on breathing. You got this. Stay strong. Woo, last one here. And rest. Awesome work. All right, let's go on to our backs. We're gonna go into a lateral pullover with a crunch. So take a look. I'm gonna connect these dumbbells together and act as if they're one dumbbell. But if your dumbbells are super heavy, you can also just grab one single dumbbell. Now soft bend in those elbows, we're gonna perform a lat pullover. So the dumbbells come above the head, biceps are framing the face. You're gonna pull those dumbbells back up to the chest and then perform a crunch, lifting those shoulder blades off the floor and shooting up towards the sky for your crunch. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. Drop it back, lift up, and crunch. Now, if you have any neck issues here, and it just does not feel good to do this, you're more than welcome to take that crunch out and just do the lat pullover. Now, our lats are a huge muscle that run down our back. You should maybe feel them right behind the armpits. And focusing on this muscle helps us to stand taller. It's important to strengthen and stabilize our core. Everything's connected, so that's why we gotta work on all muscle groups. This is your last one. And rest, awesome. Bring those dumbbells to the side, sit on up, and then we're gonna go into our last exercise, which is a low plank rock. So take a look. Forearms are gonna be parallel on the floor, feet are out, butt is down. We're gonna rock forward and back about two to three inches. You wanna maintain your core, your straight line, as much as possible. If you ever need to drop down, again, drop down to those knees, and just kind of sway forward and back. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Rock forward and back. Now your entire body is working in a plank. It is not just your abs. You wanna think about lifting those kneecaps up, engaging the quads, squeezing those inner thighs together, squeezing the butt cheeks, and then you're also getting a really, really good shoulder workout too. Make sure those eyes are looking in between the forearms, not at your feet. Check yourself, are your hips coming up? Make sure that they're down. Almost there. Keep going, few more. And rest. Drop down to those knees, give yourself a child's pose. Way to go. All right, feel free to grab a quick sip of water. I'm gonna go ahead and do that myself. Now listen, that was one round. We gotta do two more rounds. So this is a good opportunity to check in with your weight selection. 
If you felt like those exercises were too easy for you, consider adding in more weight. If you feel like those exercises were too hard, lighten the weight. You wanna make sure that you can complete the entire 45 seconds successfully. So make sure to make those adjustments as needed. We're gonna go ahead and get started in our first move, Arnold Press. So again, starting in our set position, feet shoulder distance, soft knees, open up the chest, core tight. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Open, press, and then bring it in. Now, couple positions with the feet if you would like. You're more than welcome to take a staggered stance. So that means one foot in front, one foot in back. It's really just preference. If you feel more comfortable that way, you're more than welcome. Or again, you can just find that set position with the feet shoulder distance here. Make sure those arms are really straightening up all the way and keep those shoulders away from the ears. Try not to kind of do this. <laughs> Keep going, last one here, and rest, good. Now that you know those exercises, we're gonna have a shoulder transition in between. So next up, we have our front to lateral raise. Let's go for it in three, two, one. Let's go, bring it up and out. Awesome job. Now again, if your dumbbells are way too heavy, this might be really hard for you to do. If you're struggling to just get those dumbbells up here, maybe like halfway, you can even do an upright row where you kind of change it and then do a half T. That can be an option for you if dumbbells are just way too uh, heavy. So again, you got options, you got choices. You ultimately want to listen to your body. Make sure that you're staying safe at home and going nice and slow so that you can really feel those muscles working. You wanna be intentional. Last one. And rest, nice job. All right, going into our V raise to our tricep press. Focusing on the posterior deltoid, that's the back of the shoulders, and then the triceps. In three, two, one, let's go. Bring it up, and then back. So notice how I almost slow it down on the way back. And the reason why is because I'm trying to resist gravity. When you resist gravity, you're working on the eccentric portion of the move, which ultimately helps you to build strength. So just try not to kind of swing the dumbbells down, right? You want to control the dumbbells down. Make sure those eyes are looking down towards the floor. Make sure your butt's engaged. That supports your back. Last one, and rest. Awesome. All right, let's drop down to the floor. We're gonna go into our downward facing dog with our push-up. Try the full push-up on your feet. Just see what happens. And if you're like, uh-uh, not for me, go ahead, drop down to those knees. That's totally okay. Okay, at least you tried, right? Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. We lift it up, plank position, push up. If at any point your low back is starting to be uh, compromised in any way, please drop down to those knees. It's important that we do these exercises with really good form. So just be honest with yourself, check with yourself. If anything feels funky, take those options. Chest, triceps, core, shoulders, all working right here. Last one, and rest. Awesome work. All right, let's go to our back. We have our lat pullover and our crunch. So here we go, let's make sure that those feet are planted, your knees are about shoulder distance. 
bringing those dumbbells just above the chest. In three, two, one, let's go. Bring it back behind you and lift. Now, whenever I do my crunch, I'm pretending like a puppeteer is lifting my chest up with a string. You wanna think about lifting as high as you can. Dropping those dumbbells maybe one inch away from the floor. If it taps the floor, that's okay. Last one, and rest. Awesome, set those dumbbells to the side, and let's go into our low plank rock. Finding a perfect low plank as much as you can. Again, dropping to those knees whenever you need that option. And then a third option is to just hold a low plank. That's totally cool too. So let's go for it in three, two, one, let's go. Make sure that those feet are together. It's gonna stabilize your plank that much more. Also might be beneficial to kind of just like peek at yourself if you have a mirror next to you. You just wanna check if you have that nice straight line. Keep going. Make sure you're really pressing the shoulders away from the mat almost like you're creating a small dome in your upper shoulders. It's gonna make sure that you have a really strong base of support. If you're trembling, that is a-okay. Keep it up, keep going. You are killing it. And rest. Whew. All right, child's pose. Nice work. All right, grab that sip of water. And we have made it to our third and final round. So this is your opportunity to challenge yourself, okay? So now that you know the proper weight selection, now you wanna see how many reps can I do within these 45 seconds. We really wanna push ourselves and get ourselves to really max out the uh, time that we have together. All right, as long as you're doing everything with proper form, you're more than welcome to increase the weight if you'd like, or even increase the reps. So maybe going a little bit faster. Here we go. We're gonna start with our Arnold press. In three, two, one, let's go. So this is your opportunity to max it out. And the reason why we repeat our exercises is because we build muscle through time under tension. So if you have more time that the muscles are under tension, the more muscle you build. And when you have muscle on your body, you're able to boost your metabolism and you're able to get that toned, defined physique that looks so good. Keep going. Plus, it makes you feel strong, and who does not want to feel strong and empowered in their workouts? Keep it up, keep it up, and rest. Good, shake it out. We're gonna go ahead and go into our front to lateral raise. So let's take off in three, two, one. Let's go, bring it up, and out to the side. Awesome job. Making sure you're standing nice and tall. You're not locking out those knees. Just bringing it up to shoulder height. Slowly controlling those dumbbells on the way down. If you even wanna just slow it down like this, ooh, that definitely makes it so much harder. <laughs> so do whatever you want. Awesome work. and rest good let's go ahead and go into our v raise to our tricep press so hinging from those hips nice strong posture here in three 
two, one. Let's go. Bring it up to the V. Press it back. Controlling on the way down. Nice, strong, straight arms. Feeling the back of the arms. Activate, engage. Keep that chest open. Shoulders are back and down. We're breathing. We're staying in control of our body at all times. Almost there. And rest. Good. All right, let's go ahead and go into our downward facing dog to our push up. Challenge yourself, see what you can do, and just be okay with where you're at. Do not worry, it's not a competition with me, it's a competition with you. You against you. In three, two, one, let's go. Bring it up, plank, push up. Those elbows are slightly coming towards the rib cage. That's gonna help you protect the shoulder joint. You got this. Keep going, you are strong and you are getting stronger every single day. You show up for your workout. So close. Last one. And rest. Whew. Glad that one's over. Let's go on our back. Let's go into our lat pullovers with our crunch. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Bring it back. Lift up and crunch. Nice little break here from those push-ups. Those are not easy. So if you just hung through and stayed with it, I want you to be proud of yourself. You were getting stronger every single day. You were taking control of your health, your life, and I hope you recognize that and give yourself a huge pat on the back for being here. Last one and rest. Hey, guess what? Last exercise and then we get to cool it down. We're gonna go into our low plank rocks. Bring those hands or forearms parallel to each other. Shoulders stacked right on top of those elbows. Commit to finishing all the way through in three, Two, one, let's go. Final 45 seconds. I know you can do this. You have to think positive mental thoughts. Instead of saying I can't, say I can and I will. I will conquer this, I will get through this. I can do hard things. Breathe. Hey, you got 10 seconds. Can you hang in there? Do not give up. Keep going. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, child pose. Woo! Amazing work today. Oh my goodness, I hope you feel awesome. Let's go ahead and stretch everything out. So when you're ready, let's just drop down to those knees. Let's stay on our knees and cool it down. We're gonna go into a shoulder stretch. So you're gonna bring that arm across the body. You're gonna push that shoulder away from the ear, stretching the shoulders out. We did a lot of shoulder action today. So we gotta make sure that we get all those muscle fibers Nice and long again. Let's open up the chest and switch sides. 
Nice work, let's stretch out the lat muscles. So you're gonna bring those hands forward, you're gonna bring it to the side, and then just push as you kind of bring your shoulder blades back uh, and find a rounding of the spine here. So this is gonna get into the back of the shoulder as well as your lat muscles. And then you're gonna switch sides, pushing away. Good, from here, let's go into a tricep stretch. Bring that hand behind you, using the other hand to pull that elbow back. Keep your chin off of your chest. And then release those hands down, switch sides. And we'll go ahead and finish off with two big deep breaths. Let's inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go, awesome job. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did, please go ahead, like this video, comment below, and let me know how the workout went for you. If you want more of these workouts, definitely check out my JJF On Demand program where you get access to all of my classes as well as specific programs that are tailored to your specific body and fitness goals. So make sure to check that out. The description has all of the details below. You can grab a seven day free trial plus 10% off your first month using the code SLAY2021. And if you are ready for more working and sweating it out with me, check out this video here and I'll see you on the next one.